Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Now that we've created a virtual machine, we're going to want to put an operating system on it. Just like we would with a physical computer. Normally we'd take a CD or DVD-ROM uh, and put it into our server and build the operating system. Well, with a virtual machine, we have multiple ways we could do it. We can actually put the CD or DVD into our host, build it that way. We can take a CD or DVD, put it into our desktop, and then mount that CD or DVD to the virtual machine and build it that way. Or we can actually copy an ISO like we've done in a previous movie to the ESX server, mount that ISO image of the CD DVD onto this virtual machine, and build the operating system that way. To do these different options, we're going to need to right click on our virtual machine, go to Edit Settings. We're going to want to select our CD DVD drive, and here are our device types. This is how we're going to mount either a physical CD drive to our virtual CD drive, or we're going to mount an ISO file. The first option here is Client Device says to connect the, the device you must power on the virtual machine and then click connect CD DVD button in the toolbar. So this is when we have an actual physical CD or DVD we put it into our desktop that we're on that we're running the vSphere client on then we're gonna launch the console power the virtual machine on and click connect and I'll show you how to do that in a second the next option is the host device. This is when we put the physical CD or DVD into our ESX host, so the DVD-ROM drive on our host. We select this option, select the CD or DVD device, normally there's only one, and then click or check connect at power on. The third option is the data store ISO. This is where we'd browse our data store, and remember in a previous movie we copied an ISO file to our ESX server in our VM images folder in tools-iso images. I'll just expand it out. I've got one here, Windows Server 2008 64-bit, and I would just highlight it, click OK, and then I need to be sure and click check connect at power on. Otherwise, when we power it on, it actually won't be connected to this particular ISO. So real quickly, let's take a look at our client device here. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'm going to launch the console. Then I'll go ahead and power the virtual machine on. Remember, we do have to have it powered on in order to use this particular feature. And I'll go up here to the connect button here. This is the CD-ROM. We can also connect to a floppy disk if we'd like. I'm just going to highlight CD drive 1. This is our virtual CD drive that's on our virtual machine. We can connect directly to the D drive that's on the server or the desktop I'm on down here and I'm running the vSphere client on. We can connect to an ISO image that I've copied to my desktop. We can also connect to the host device or connect to an ISO image on the data store. These are the two other options that we're normally going to select when we go to edit settings. So let's go back. I'll close out and I'm just going to power this server off. And I'll right click on it. Click edit settings. Let's highlight our CD DVD drive. Let's go back to Data Store ISO. Click Browse. Go to VM Images. This is where we copied them to in a previous movie. Tools ISO Images. I'll just expand it out. And I've got one here, Windows Server 2008 64-bit. I'll just select it. Click OK. And again, very important to check the Connected Power On box. Otherwise, it won't actually be connected. I'll click OK. It's going to go ahead and reconfigure it down here. I'll launch the console and I'll power it on so we can see what it looks like. There we can see it's loading the files and it looks just like it would if we were building an operating system on a physical server. So 
So this is a normal Windows Server 2000 installation. And again, one of the advantages of using an ISO that's on the ESX server is normally you get some better performance and the operating system actually installs pretty fast. So I'll go ahead and click Next. I'm just going to go through this real quick. Install Now. I'll go ahead and do uh, Windows Server 2008 Standard 64-bit. Click Next. Go ahead and accept the license terms. Click Next. I'll do a custom installation. And this is all going to vary depending on what operating system you're installing. You can see that it sees the 30 gig disk that we created when we created the virtual machine. I'll go ahead and select it, click Next. And it's going to copy the files, expand them, and install the operating system. Okay, and the operating system is just finishing up the installation. And the installation is complete. So now we would configure this virtual machine, this Windows Server 2008 server, just like we would a normal server if it was physical. We'd give it an IP address, join it to a domain, everything we'd normally do with it.